Okay, so we have our title bar from the previous episode. If you haven't watched it, you can follow the link in the description. Now, let's improve this a little bit. Instead of having everything here on signals and with text instead of the icons, I did here quickly some vectors with the images so I can export them, get them into Godot. They have a transparent background, but since I'm working with white, I wanted to have something. Uh, this program is Figma, is free to use, but it's not open source so yeah i'm not gonna go into making icons uh, you can probably download them from any place as well but they are quite simple so i exported those and saved them here and cut out as pngs so now for our buttons uh, instead of going with the text let's go with the close for the close one and minimize Let's remove the text, let's load an icon, minimize. Okay, we have these two patterns now. So since we want them to be always on this corner and organize, we can create one of the control nodes, which is container, box container, and H horizontal box container. This will have them all very tidy and organized in the corner for us. So, okay, let's see. Let's put this close one inside and minimize inside. Okay, so we have them now. The order of the buttons is gonna be the order of this list. So if you are, you know, on Mac and you want to have them on this side, you can change the order, but yeah. Okay, so now that we have this element, let's make it as small as possible, which is going to respect the size of those buttons. And now as a layout, let's anchor it in the top right corner. So we have now the buttons there and it, I think it's a bit better organized. Okay, so this is a bare bones toolbar, you know, like how we have it. Uh, and let's say we want to change the color for this uh, for this toolbar in the future and we want to reuse it. So what would be a way of making it? What we can do on any script is create some variables that will be editable from the inspector itself. The same way you can change the color from here or you add the alignment from here you can create your own as well. Basically, you need to type the name of the variable that you want to say background color. And now how the default value is going to be. Let's make it black. And now we have this variable. So to expose this to the inspector, you can add export at the beginning. And in parentheses, you need to add the type of variable that is going to be this in this case is going to be a color so now that we have this if we save it and we select our title bar we see that we have this variable here this is great for making tools for other programmers on the team or if you want to keep things easier to manage for instance this title bar now is an entire scene and when i'm on a program and i use this title bar and i include it you have this value here. So if I modify it and you I want to go back to the default, I can do it from there. And you can have different properties without modifying the main scene. Now that we have this new background color setting, let's do that every time that we modify it. The color node that we have here, the color vect, color is going to be equal to the background that we selected. Okay, so let's say we want the color to be green and let's try it out. Yeah, it's green. But it's not very useful when you are working with an editor like this and you don't see like the changes happening. How can we make those changes to happen instantly? Well, to do that, you can add at the beginning of your script the word tool. And once you add this, this uh, word tool, this will expose all this code to the editor. So this is the editor. It will run here as well as on the game. So now let's create a function 
that updates that for every time you change it. Do that doing the set get, and now you name a new function, which is going to be update background. So in this new function, we are going to get a value, which is this one is going to be sent as the first argument. So let's go ahead and modify the variable that we have saved to the value that we set on the editor. And now we can do the color rect color equal to the background color. We can remove this now and we save it. So now that when we are here, we can see the changes happening already. And if I modify this value, you see it changing as well on the editor. This is great for when you want to customize different elements so you don't have to touch the children. So, okay, so let's go back to the default one. Okay, we have now a selector for the color and let's start doing something that we couldn't do in our previous video, which is the maximize function. Let's add a new button here that will enable us to maximize it. Uh, let's create a button inside here. We can actually clone this one with control D. I duplicate it. Let's call it maximize button. Uh, let's go ahead and do the anchor again. Top right. Okay. Let's set the icon now. Title bar icons maximize. Okay, and we want to disconnect this one and create a new one, new signal on the title bar. On maximize button press. So there is already a function in the OS window maximize. You see here, if you want to check the documentation of, of anything, you can press control like I did, press click, and now here we can go to control okay, here, window maximize. And we see here, is window maximized? Set window maximized. Okay, so we can use this function from the OS class. So OS set maximize true. So when we press that, we should be maximizing it. Oh, set window maximized. Sorry, my bad. Okay, now it should work. Let's go. And yeah, we get it maximized. Problem is, we cannot change these values. And there's a lot of cases that we need to update. So let's go to restore the value. We have the is windows maximized function. So let's use this one to test it out and to toggle it. So if it's maximized, let's set it to true. Sorry, forgot the OS here. Okay. Else we set it to false. So this way, like it will check and if it is maximized, sorry, let's check it. False and if it is not, let's go. Let's try it out. Big, small, big, small. Yay, it is working. Okay. Problem is, I am think that the screen recorder is not liking this because it's detecting the window as maximized. So apologies for that. Uh, but it is working as intended. I just have a problem with my screen recorder. Uh, okay, next thing we want to do is to update the icon. So we select the, uh, let's rename this one. Let's rename it to buttons. Okay, that should work. <laughs> let's also remove the button side from it since we know Everything inside here will be buttons. Okay, this looks cleaner. Okay, so now let's select from the buttons, the maximize one, 
and the icon is gonna be if it is false which means that it's a default one we want to show this one and otherwise maximize icon is gonna show the restore one let's see okay sorry i forgot we need to load this before doing that <laughs> uh, that way you're telling uh, Godot to load it as a resource because since it is an image you need to get it there okay and maximize it okay oh the screen recorder is getting it right now that's great <laughs> apologies again for the problem so now we have the maximize, the minimize, and the close. What else do we need? Well, on every good title bar, we want a label with the name of the program. So let's add a label here, which is gonna be my title bar. And let's make this the entire size vertical line to center let's add some room there and since it's in the top left corner we don't need to do much more we have the title bar there okay so if we are using this on a regular program let's pretend this is my program and you're using the title bar as a, as a separate instance, you can either have editable children or let's continue making this a tool. So let's create another export variable. Which is gonna be a string, gonna be the title. The default is going to be my program, or my title bar, and set get update title. Let's create now this function with a value and select the label, which we're going to call title here. Title label so it's more precise so title label text is gonna be equal to the value and, and the title is gonna be equal to the value as well let's see so now we have here my title bar yay okay let's go back to the default okay so this is the one we have as a custom scene and on our serious business program we can go here and say this is the welcome screen and we can set the color for it because we want to have here a red title bar for some reason okay next potential things that you can add is an icon as we have which is gonna be just an image and on the next episode, we're going to see how to do the resizing of the window. Right now, this custom window doesn't have any resizing except for the maximizing. And we want to change that. I want to make a shout out to the Rocky Do who posted on Reddit. And he built an awesome title bar, as you can see here and it's great so if you have any creation you want me to display on my videos i would love to it's great to see what you guys are making in godot so if you want to send me something i'm really really excited to see it so you can see he was able to add also the icon and everything which is nice let's hope that our next tutorial helped him complete the entire thing and we get the maximize and the resizing there and I would like to thank everyone for the comments and if you have any suggestion to any other 
you would like me to cover, write it on the comments. I would like to thank my Patreons, it's awesome to have your support, and see you guys next time.